Hello and welcome back everybody, today we're going to do Atom Fall on Arc GPU from the A310 to the B580 and from 1080p to 1440p. Welcome to Respawn PC, I'm Dunk, let's game on. On my traditional setup, the i5-12600K and 32GB of RAM, we're starting with the A310 at 1080p, lowest settings and no upscale. This is a manual upscaling, there's no XCSS, DLSS or FSR in this game. But it's okay because we don't need any, even for the A310. This is a 4GB VRAM card, but we're using only 3.3GB of VRAM. The GPU is pegged obviously at 99%, but the CPU is in the low 20s, and we're using 9.1GB of RAM for a nice little 58 FPS. I did not encounter any stutter, and the gameplay is super smooth. Next up, we have the A380. This is a 6GB VRAM card, but we're only using 3.8GB of VRAM. CPU stay the same, and we're using 8.6 6GB of RAM. We get an average of 60 FPS for 1080p, no upscaling, and at medium settings. This game is really well optimized. Nothing else really to say about this card. We get as high as 74 FPS and as low as 49 FPS. You can play with the settings to put some at low to keep a closer 60 FPS all the time. Next up, we have the A580, still one of my favorite Intel Arc GPU card. We now at 1080p, at high settings, we have an average of 136 6 FPS. The GPU is back at 99% using 5.8 GB of VRAM out of 8. This is magnificent. This is a really good result. The frame time graph is super smooth. I encounter zero stutter. That makes my A580, my favorite uh, Intel Arc GPU, even more on the top of the list. If you can find one. I mean, with those results, who don't want an A580? You can probably push to max settings or maybe even uh, play at uh, 1440p. Unfortunately, I didn't try. I just tried those uh, settings at 1080p, but maybe in a future video. Next up is the A750. Now we're still at 1080p, but now push the settings to ultra. And at ultra settings and no upscaling of any kind, we get an average of 106 FPS. The GPU is pegged at 99% and we're using 7.9 GB of VRAM out of 8. So we're using to the maximum capacity of the card that can offer. The A750 is the perfect 1080p card for this game. It should be the recommended for the requirement for this game. The A750 at ultra 1080p or maybe the a580 at high settings or maybe at the ultra settings will reach a similar result as the a750 a little bit lower switching off to the a770 le a 16 gigabyte vram uh, gpu we also step up uh, from 1080p to 1440p i kept the setting at ultra and still no upscaling and we get an average of 70 fps and this is a game that the a770 can shine because it is pegged at 99 percent but we're using 14.2 gigabyte of vram out of 16. What do you think about that? RTX 4060. I really need to put my hand on a 4060 so I can uh, test against the Intel GPU. But just by the VRAM utilization of the A770, I'm pretty sure even this card will beat the 4060. Now it's time to jump to the B series, the Battle Mage which is be a 10 GB VRAM and a 12 GB VRAM. How it compared to the A770 16 GB VRAM. Starting off with the B570, still at 1440p, ultra settings and no upscaling of any kind, we get an average of a nicely 69 FPS, just one FPS lower than the A770, surprisingly. This card is a 10 GB VRAM and we're using 10.4 GB of VRAM. That means we need to shuffle some in the system memory, even though our FPS is similar to the A770, the VRAM bottleneck calls us to have lower lows than the A770. We sometimes dipped in the i40 FPS. The game was smooth enough, then you encounter every starter, but for a better gameplay, you better drop some settings to high instead of ultra. And finally, the B580. This is a 12GB VRAM, and we're using 12.4GB of VRAM. That means we also go shuffle some memory in the system memory, but we got a high FPS. We are at 88 compared to the B570 at 69 and the A770 at 70. Even though the GPU don't have enough VRAM, the frame time graph was super smooth and I didn't encounter any starter with the B580. Gameplay was super smooth. Doesn't mean it will be like this all the time, but if it is, you can crank down some of the settings to high instead of ultra. This is a highly playable and beautiful game with every Intel Arc GPU. The B580 is a really nice performing card 
with this game. In the end, this is another game that every Intel Arc GPU can play easily without any issue from 1080p to 1440p. And if it weren't the difference in price from the A770 to the B570, the A770 is, uh, should have been uh, quite relevant. So unless you can find one that's a uh, really lower price than the B570 or B580, you should jump on it.